Yusuf Nurkish in a van! You're not going to believe the insane story of how Yusuf Nurkic was first discovered, but make sure to watch until the end of the video to see all the juicy details we have in store for you. Nurkic was reportedly first discovered after his father was in a news article for beating up 14 people. No, seriously. But before we dive into that story, let's get some information on Nurkic as a basketball player. Yusuf Nurkic is currently 26 years old and was born on August 23, 1994 in Tuzla, Bosnia. He first played for the Union Olympia in Belgrade during the International Youth Competition back in 2012, averaging 18.8 points and 11 rebounds through five games. But his career was just getting started at this point, as he left to go sign a contract with Cetavita, a Slovenian team. The contract was signed in October 2012 and was set to last four years. He was still young at the time and was averaging less than five points per game in his first year with the club, leading to his transfer to Zadar. He spent the entire next season trying to hone his skills, and it ended up working out. He averaged 11.6 points and 5.6 rebounds per game after that. His stats had eventually improved so much that he was officially nominated for the FIBA Europe Young Player of the Year Award. Then finally, in 2014, he was selected in the NBA Draft by the Chicago Bulls. Unfortunately, though, he didn't stick with the team very long at all, being moved just one month after he heard the news of being drafted. He ended up landing with the Denver Nuggets, the team that saw him play his first ever NBA game. While he only put up six points and seven rebounds, it was still solid numbers for a rookie that didn't have much prior basketball experience. About one year after his first career start, he notched his first ever double-double in January of 2015 with Denver. His play only improved after that one, as he picked up a few more double-doubles in just the next two months. He was looking so good on the court that the Denver organization was hoping that he would take place in the NBA Rising Stars Challenge, as Steven Adams was not expected to take place in the event, opening a spot for Nurkic. However, he respectfully declined the offer due to personal reasons and continued his stellar young season according to plan. Nurkic ended up hurting his knee towards the end of that season, eventually undergoing surgery to repair the injury. Because of that injury, he was not signed to a long-term extension. The Nuggets only gave him a one-year extension. He finally returned to the lineup in the middle of the next season, only to injure his left patellar tendon and miss the next two months of basketball. It's safe to say that he doesn't have the best luck when it comes to injuries. By the time Nurkic was finally morphing into the player that upper management hoped he would be, Nikola Jokic joined the roster and was immediately thrust into the starting lineup, demoting Nurkic to the bench. Nurkic was clearly not happy with the way things were shaping out in Denver, so he decided to let the coaching staff know how frustrated he was with the current situation. He hoped that his displeasure would allow the staff to give him his starting job back, but they ended up going in a different direction than anticipated. The Nuggets traded the big man shortly after, flipping him over to the Portland Trailblazers in exchange for Mason Plumley. Nurkic picked up right where he had left off in Denver, recording a few double-doubles before exploding onto the scene with 28 points, 20 rebounds, and 8 assists against the Philadelphia 76ers. It was the first time that any player had had that stat line since Charles Barkley in November of 1986. Just a few days after that giant performance, he had another one, dropping 33 points and 16 rebounds. Although his bad injury luck continued as he suffered a small fracture in his right leg, causing him to miss the remainder of the current season. Before we continue, NBA All-Stars wants to start giving away prizes to its fans and viewers, from gift cards to electronics. So make sure to register your email in the first link of the description to participate. And make sure to check your email regularly from us to know what exactly you need in order to win some of our many prizes. Now keep watching the video as we were almost to the good part about how Nurkic's dad beat up those 14 people. Despite the injury, Portland rewarded the big man with another contract that was estimated to be around $11 million. He proved that this decision would be a success for the team, recording a stat line that may never be replicated ever again against the Sacramento Kings in 2019. Nurkic put up 24 points, 23 rebounds, 7 assists, 5 steals, and 5 blocks, becoming the first player to ever record 20-plus points and rebounds and 5-plus assists, steals, and blocks. Sadly, two months later, he suffered yet another serious injury. The team found themselves in double overtime against the Brooklyn Nets. Nurkic went up for an offensive rebound before falling awkwardly and suffering a compound fracture in his leg. It was a break in his tibia and fibula, and it kept him out for well over a year after getting successful surgery. 
He ended up returning for around 15 games during the NBA bubble at the end of last season and was crucial to his team making it into the postseason during that run of games. We're only a quarter of the way through this year's slate of games as well, with Nurkic starting off the year as a starter before eventually fracturing his wrist and being ruled out for another two or three weeks. Hopefully, he's able to get past his early career injury woes and become a consistent force in this league. This guy is still only 26 years old. He has so much time to turn everything around. Throughout his entire NBA career, both as a starter and a bench player, he averages 9.8 points, 7.7 rebounds, and 2.8 assists per game. The big man has been slowly improving at every area of the game, acting as the Trailblazers' best interior defender, while also providing the team with yet another solid scoring option outside of Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum. It's also worth mentioning that Nurkic is a very talented passer. In the past two or three seasons with Portland, fans have been able to recognize his success when running the offense. His handles leave much to be desired, but that isn't an area you'd expect a center to succeed in regardless of his talent. That success has also led to much more faith from the coaching staff. If you happen to tune into a Trailblazer game that Nurkic is able to play, you'll see a ton of half-court plays where he's the main ball handler and has to decide what to do with the basketball. More likely than not, the play results in a bucket. Adding on to his improved talents, his three-point shot has begun to fall more consistently lately. Ever since he returned to action following his compound fracture, he started shooting the three ball with more confidence than ever before and has actually knocked them down at a decent rate. It's too early to say if he's going to ever be a solid three-point option for this team, but the fact that his confidence is growing in the shot means that opposing teams will have to respect him from beyond the arc. Now that we finally went over his very eventful young career as a basketball player, let's jump into the main reason that you're here. The only reason that Nurkic was able to make the NBA is because of his father, Hariz Nurkic. Hariz is a police officer in Bosnia, but that isn't the only outstanding attribute about him. He's a staggering seven feet tall, while also weighing in at over 400 pounds. Harez was already a fascinating specimen with his stature alone, but when Yusuf was only 14 years old, Harez made headlines. He had reportedly beaten up 14 different people in a fight. Yeah, you heard that correctly. He single-handedly defeated 14 people by himself. A very famous Bosnian sports agent had stumbled upon the newspaper article and was fascinated by the story. The agent's name was Enis Ternovcevic, and he took a trip to go meet with Harris in person to ask him a few questions. Although Enos only had one question in mind once he stepped in the door, and that question was, do you have a son? Here enters 14-year-old Yusuf, who most likely didn't understand who Enos was at the time or why he was interviewing his father. Enos had full faith in Yusuf to become the next big thing in basketball, which isn't hard to do considering his father was a giant in all physical attributes. It was likely that Yusuf would be the same. Enos offered him a trip to Slovenia and a chance to hone his basketball skills and attempt to make a career out of the sport. Nurkic decided to accept the offer, and now the rest is history. You can only imagine how different the sports world would have been if it weren't for Harez beating up 14 people and getting his son noticed in Bosnia. We can't help but admit that this story sounds a bit like a fairy tale, but it had indeed been confirmed by multiple sources as well as Yusuf Nurkic himself. Nurkic remembers bits and pieces of the story, but was able to recall something between him and Enos, stating, He looked at me, and I was normal size, but he said, That kid is going to be in the NBA. We all just smiled, because it was crazy. Even Nurkic couldn't even fathom the idea of making it onto the biggest stage imaginable in America. Not only that, but to become a full-time starter for one of those teams and earn millions of dollars a year? Who wouldn't want that? Also, I don't think that I would ever attempt to pick a fight with Harez. If he was able to take down that many people on his own, then one could only imagine how badly he could beat somebody up individually. I guess that story serves as a warning. Be careful who you mess with, or it could end up slapping you in the face, literally. We hope you enjoyed the video. Check out this next video that we know you'll also enjoy watching.